Have you ever wondered how the Panama Canal, one of the world's greatest marvels of engineering, revolutionized global trade and navigation? This strategic waterway, a man-made conduit between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, was a vision that transformed the world as we know it. The idea was conceived by visionaries who understood the immense value of a shorter maritime route. A route that would bypass the arduous and treacherous journey around the tip of South America, the Cape Horn. In the late 19th century, the wheels began to turn. Minds like Ferdinand de Lesseps, the French diplomat known for the Suez Canal, and Philip Buno Varilla, a tireless advocate for the project, were instrumental in setting the stage for this monumental task. The Panama Canal was more than just an idea, it was a strategic vision that had the potential to reshape global commerce and navigation. This grand vision however, was not without its colossal challenges. The construction of the Panama Canal presented unprecedented challenges. The Panamanian terrain was characterized by mountains, swamps and dense jungle, making it a formidable obstacle to the construction's progress. Even the earth itself seemed to resist, as landslides frequently undid months of laborious excavation. Moreover, the workforce was besieged by tropical diseases. Malaria and yellow fever, carried by the relentless mosquitoes, decimated the ranks of workers, turning the project into a deadly endeavor. The engineering hurdles were colossal too. The canal required the construction of locks, massive enough to accommodate the world's largest ships, and a man-made lake, the largest of its kind at that time. In response to these challenges, the project employed innovative techniques and machinery. Steam shovels, dredges, and dynamite became the tools of choice to tame the defiant landscape, while medical advances helped to slowly curb the spread of disease. In the midst of these challenges stood a figure of unwavering determination, Theodore Roosevelt. As President of the United States, Roosevelt recognized the strategic value of a canal through Panama and was determined to bring this vision to life. He was not a silent observer, rather he became a hands-on participant, steering the political ship that would pave the way for the canal's construction. A significant part of Roosevelt's strategy was his support for Panama's independence from Colombia. This was not a simple act of altruism. Recognizing that Colombia was less than enthusiastic about the canal project, Roosevelt saw an opportunity to expedite the process. By supporting Panama's independence, he ensured that the United States would have a more cooperative partner in the canal's construction. This marked a turning point in the project, setting the stage for one of the greatest engineering feats of the 20th century. From the moment it opened in the year 1914, the Panama Canal transformed global navigation and trade. It was more than just a shortcut between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It was a symbol of human achievement, evidence of our ability to shape the world around us. This engineering marvel drastically reduced travel time for ships, making it faster, safer and more efficient to transport goods and services around the globe. The canal's impact is not just seen in the hustle and bustle of maritime trade, it's felt in the global economy, in the way nations interact and collaborate. Indeed, the Panama Canal stands as one of the greatest engineering feats of the 20th century, a symbol of human innovation and achievement, connecting oceans and bridging nations.